This is Junior Roberts coming to you with realjuniorroberts.com. In this video, I'll be demonstrating to you um, how to find the density of an irregular shaped object using these apparatus here. I'll be using um, a beaker with some water. I'll be using um, a measuring cylinder. This would be this is a stone that represents my irregular shaped object tied to a string and I have a piece of napkin here right for drying purposes and then I have a triple beam balance now the density of an object is defined as its mass per unit volume the, dens the SI unit for volume is meters cubed right the den SI unit of mass is kilogram and since we say that um, density is the mass per unit volume it therefore means then that our SI unit for density is kilogram per meter cubed. So basically what we do to find density is divide, divide the mass of an object by its volume. Now, we might be able to determine the mass of this object here, but to determine its volume might be a little tricky for us. So the density of a cuboid can be found by determining its volume, which is its length times its width multiplied by its height. Now for the stone, as I said, it's very irregular shaped. So to find the density of it by using the volume method might be very difficult. So what I've been doing in this experiment is to show you how to find the density of an irregular shaped object. Now this is one method using uh, my measuring cylinder, right? Um, so the first thing I will do is measure the mass of the stone here. Now I already tied the stone to the string, but I'm going to assume that the mass of the string is negligible. Right, so it won't affect my reading. So let me just get this stuff out of the way. Temporarily place the stone. Notice that the triple beam balance is zeroed. Right, I did a previous video showing you how to use the triple beam balance. So you can always check that video out if you need more explanation or need um and tuto need a tutorial on how to use the triple beam balance. So I place my object here. Right? Then I go in and start to adjust these beams here until I get it balanced. Okay, so it turns out that the mass of my stone is 10 grams here plus 3.4 grams. So I'm going to make a note of that. Mass of stone, 13.4, and my units is grams, right? So I make a note of that. And the next thing for me to do. Right, I'm finished with my triple beam balance so I can get that out of the way and focus on using my measuring cylinder right, and my beaker with water. Now the first thing that I'll be doing is to add some water to my measuring cylinder, just enough water so I can actually cover my regular shaped object, in this case the stone here. So I'm going to fill it about halfway. There about. Then I'm going to measure the volume. First of all, I'll let the bubbles settle a bit. There's a little bit of um, air bubbles, so I'm going to let them settle out a little bit. Right, there are still a few bubbles, but I'm going to go ahead with the experiment. Now what I'll be doing is slowly adjusting my irregular shaped object. Right, first of all, I need to record the volume of water in my measuring cylinder. And I'm reading from the bottom of my meniscus. 
and it's 55 milliliters right and I know that one milliliter is approximately one cm cube so I'm gonna say my initial volume of water is 55 centimeters cube now what I'll be doing now is slowly lowering my irregular shaped object inside the measuring cylinder with water I slowly lower the stone in right now my volume has gone up to 60 centimeters cube so my final volume is 60 centimeters cube now I'll remove the stone use my napkin to remove any excess water right I'm going to add a little more water to my measuring cylinder and then repeat the step I did just shortly so first thing I need to do is record my volume my volume is 61, 62, 63, 63 centimeters cube. So I note that down. And then after removing the excess water, I'm going to lower the stone again for a second reading. So I still lower the stone in. Then I read off from the bottom of my meniscus. And I'm seeing I'm getting a volume of 68. I mean, the 68 centimeters cube. Then what I'll, do, what I'll do now, what I will do right now is attempt a third time, right? And then from those three readings, I should be able to get an average so again, I'm going to add a little more water. Record the volume of water. So the volume of water is 65, 66, 67, 68, 69 centimeters cube. Then I will slowly lower the stone in. And the volume is now 61, I mean 71, 72, 73, 74, 74 centimeters cubed, right? So from those readings, I should be able to get an average. So follow me over to the blackboard for me to do the calculations and uh, the final analysis. Okay, so these are our readings, and uh, we'll use these uh, values to determine the density. So the first thing we'll have to do is um, determine the volume of the stone. So we have uh, the final volume of the water, and we have the initial volume of the water. So the volume of stone then would be equal to final volume of water minus the initial volume of water All right so for our trial one our final volume was uh, 60 so for this one here so the volume of the stone let's call it vs is equal to v f minus v i right and that's 60 right 60 so 60 centimeters cube minus 55 centimeters cube and that's five centimeters cube. So I can put that in. 
as 5 centimeters cube. Similarly, to determine the volume here, let's say Vs again is equal to Vf minus Vi, which is equal to 68 centimeters cube minus 63 centimeters cube. And that again is 5 centimeters cube. Right, and I input that for the volume right here, 5 centimeters cube. And then finally, I do the same thing uh, for the third trial. So, again, we'll say that Vs is equal to Vf minus Vi. And that's 74 centimeters cube minus 69 centimeters cube. And when we take the difference of those two numbers, we get 5 centimeters cube. So again, the volume of stone is 5 centimeters cube. So what we'll do now is find the average of these three values. And to find average, we simply take the sum and then divide by the number of uh, items. So average volume, let's say average volume of stone, right, it is equal to the volume, let's say this is VS1, this is VS2, and this is VS3. So we'll simply take the, those three volumes, right, which we have them in our table, so we'll say that it's equal to VS1 plus VS2 plus VS3. And that again was 5 centimeters cubed plus 5 centimeters cubed plus 5 centimeters cubed. And that again is divided by 3. So that's 15 centimeters cubed divided by 3. And then my average then is 5 centimeters cubed. So this is my volume. It's my volume here. Right? Volume of the stone. Right? And then we're trying to find the density. And if you recall earlier, when we found on the mass of the stone, so the mass of stone from earlier was 13.4 grams. So we can then say that density is equal to mass divided by volume, which is equal to 13.4 grams divided by 5 centimeters cubed. And then we'll plug that in our calculator, we get a value of 2.68 grams per centimeters cube. Alright, so this is the density of the stone based on our experiment here. Alright, so again, this is Junior Roberts, realjuniorroberts.com. If you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it with a friend. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe and hit the bell notification so you are notified whenever I post new videos like these. Thank you for watching.